Hey folks, I'm John P. This is Geek Me TV, and what is better than a hurricane in a bottle? Nothing. We're gonna talk about it right now. Okay, guys, I've actually got John Scherer on the on the phone. I was gonna say on the phone, John, but it's on the Skype with us here. Uh, amazing technology. John is the uh, CEO of Canless Air Systems. Thanks for joining me today. Appreciate it. Thank you, John, for having me. I appreciate being on. It's fun to be able to do cross-country uh, interviews using nothing but Skype and a couple of cameras, huh? Yes, well, I I'm in Arizona. Where are you? Texas? Dallas. Dallas. Big okay. D. Yeah. So, uh, Thanks for coming on. You know, I want to tell everybody kind of the impetus of our getting together today because Mark Winning, who follows me on Google Plus, sent over an email or a message, I guess, to Callie and myself saying, hey, uh, wondered if you guys have tried the O2 Hurricane Canless Air. And if so, what'd you think of it? And when I, the, the first, my thir first thought was, Hurricane Canless Air, whatever it is, I don't know, but I'm in. Yeah. <laughs> we pinged you guys and you said, yeah, let us send you one. You sent me this bad boy. Yeah. And I'm not going to lie to you, John. When The first thing I did was I ripped the box open and squeezed this trigger and it made this magnificent noise. Yeah. Uh, that was loud. That is 200 miles an hour of air coming out of this bad boy. Yes, 200 miles of air. Now, I, it, it, and it's actually more than that. It's closer to, sometimes it's closer to 220. Wow. But we just like to say over 200 miles an hour. Okay, so, uh, I mean, clearly we can use it for dusting off computers and things like that. But before we get into talking about this particular device, where did the idea come from? Well, the <laughs> It's interesting. About uh, it was in around May of 2011, uh, an inventor contacted me on my personal site and asked if I'd be interested in in being the spokesperson for his product. Uh, he was he's in Arizona. We got together. I, he showed me his his first invention, and we sat and talked. And he told me all the dangers of canned air, all the reasons why he invented this. I took the stuff home uh, and said yes. After I read, I, I, you know, I thought I was a savvy, savvy consumer, but I thought canned air was canned air. I didn't know. Is it not? I didn't know. It's, it's canned gas. And I didn't realize it can explode. You get frostbite from it. You can die if you, if you in, inhale it. You shouldn't be inhaling it, but... You can die from it. You can. Uh, there's a lot of dangers with it, and I never realized that. So when he told me about his product, I checked it out. There was nothing like it, and we started in, and that's how we came up with with what you have in your hand, what I have in my hand, the O2 Hurricane. Okay, so let me just get this straight. Are you telling me that when I run around the office spraying my canned air in people's faces just for fun, I shouldn't be? <laughs> I shouldn't be doing that. You're, I know you're kidding. No, I'm not. I've done that. I, oh, my God. Oh, my. I didn't think that stuff was harmful. It's canned air, right? I mean, what's the deal? And, that's right. And that's what that's what most consumers, I think your viewers would say, well, it's canned air. If they, if they have some or they go to a store and read the label, read what's on the back of the can, this stuff in red, if you're seeing that and, there, and there's all these do's and don'ts. Yeah. It's very dangerous, and you don't wow. want to your face. I honestly did not know that before you said that because, uh, I mean, we do that. I mean, it, they're fun. I mean, the problem with those cans is they're really expensive. I, yeah. I I think they're like, I mean, we buy them at Fry's, and they're like 15 bucks for a three of them or something. I don't know. You, every time you squeeze a trigger, you're just thinking, oh, there's money down the drain. But it's so fun to do, you know? Well, and, and they're a different they're a different deal. And, and you, since you've used it, it's it's easy to talk to you about it because because um, because canned air um, freezes up after a while. If you hold the trigger down, 
it will run for maybe four or five good seconds of a blast, and then it starts to die out. And the can gets real cold. True. You have to wait for it to warm up. It takes about 45 minutes. And then you can do it again. But each time, the blast becomes less powerful. Okay. So when we when we came up with this idea, when we started working on this, um, the original design looked like a hair blower. And I said, no. I said, it has to be the same size as canned air. This is what people are used to. So, you see... You see how much they look alike. Yeah, I've they, actually they, got one here too. So there you go. Okay, they kind of feel alike, and then so ours though, when you pull the trigger, you you this thing will run for about fifteen minutes. So if you pull it for six seconds at a time, you could run this thing for a couple of hours. Yeah, six seconds at a time, and 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 that's really the way people use canned air. Now, one of the things we experience is that people are used to that little hissing sound of canned air, that squirt sound. Yeah. Not what this is. This is actually a very powerful, look at this. This is only eight inches tall. Eight inches tall, it's a couple inches around, and it produces over 200 miles an hour blast coming out of here. Well, the so, first thing I noticed when I picked it up is, it feels solid. It yeah. the the outer housing is made of plastic, but this thing weighs like I don't. If I had to guess, I'd say it weighs a couple of pounds. It's solid. It is solid. It's very solid. This is an ABS plastic on the outside. Now, what's in here is a battery. There's a battery in this half. There's a motor in here, and then up here there's an impeller and an impeller housing. Think of it. An impeller is for our viewers. It's like a fan. It's very much like a fan, only it's not a fan. And these blades spin around in this impeller housing, and it forces the air out of this. So that's all this is. It, it, it you know, when they invented the bobby pin and some of those things, it's they're so simple. Yeah. And and this people look at it, it's so simple that um, people go. Well, I can't believe that's all this is. Well, that's all it is. He, the inventor, originally he was sitting around. Here's an interesting thing. Have you ever started a wood fire? Have you yeah, ever built oh yeah. Okay. Build a fire and use this. And just don't don't use this. Don't use this because you'll only do it once. <laughs> only do it once. But but John, seriously, this is. He was sitting around. He was trying to get a fire going one time, and so. He said, there's got to be some way, instead of the old billows, that you do this and blow air at it, he thought there would be something. And that's how this got started, 12 years in the making. Interesting. 12 years to get to where it is. And, of course, for all of our geeky viewers, the, I think the number one thing they would they would imagine is, like with these canned air, blowing dirt off your computer and your keyboard and... You know, if you open up one of those PCs, getting all the dust out of there and, and things like that, that's that's what I instantly gravitated towards with it. Right. And that's what <clears throat> I remember seeing guys years ago walking around our office, spraying off keyboards and cleaning computers with this stuff. I had no idea of the dangers of what they were doing. I mean, to, to come in and squirt it and... and you can't clean a paper shredder, for example. That's one thing it tells you. It's very clear. Don't ever spray that on a paper shredder. Really? Never. I'm sure I've done that. Never. I'm, that, I'm positive I'm, I've done that. <laughs> I'm dead serious. Okay. There's a video on the internet of a guy exploding doing that, so you don't want to do that. It's This is just air. You don't put anything toxic into the atmosphere. Uh, if, and you're looking right at me, and if you could see me doing this, it doesn't hurt anyone. That's funny because I, I, I am, uh, Mark Hopkins brought me a can of this compressed air while we're talking, and it says on the back, caution, um, you know, keep out of reach of children, misuse by deliberately concentrating and inhaling it may be harmful or fatal. Uh, right. It can be ignited under certain circumstances. Yeah. So, okay. So there's danger and then there's also cost associated with it. So um, I guess what people would probably like to know is how powerful is this compared to these? 
Like what's okay. the relative, you know, blowing capacity in those five second bursts that we use? Canned air, when you first get it, open it up, squirt it, has more power for four seconds than this. That four seconds, that first four seconds. But then as you keep holding it, as you keep holding the trigger on canned air, it dies and this stays at over 200 miles an hour. Okay. And this, this can maintain that for close to 15 minutes. So where the, can, that will last 40, that, that can you have in your hand, it'll last about four to six seconds strong. Yeah. And it will just fizzle out. You've used it so you know. Absolutely. I think everybody who has experience with it knows. Also, the, the little straw thing that comes out of it is a lot smaller than the one that comes out of the hurricane. Okay, I want to I want to tell you something. Pull that straw. Pull that off. Of, no, no, not on, not on that. Oh, on that our, yep. Okay. The, your, your viewers should use it without the straw. You don't need the straw. When oh, we okay. originally developed this, we, we had the straw so it would look like canned air. Oh. But, it's got more power when the straw is off. There's more power, and you don't need it. You can hit your keyboard. You can get all these things. If you have an area that you got to get back into that you really need it, put the straw on. Otherwise, use it without the straw. Okay, gotcha. All right, yeah. so, so then the other question people are going to be asking is, all right, what's one of these bad boys going to cost me compared to the air, the canned air? Here is a good comparison. You can charge this about 500 times, we'll say. Each time, it, <clears throat> these, these are, that's equivalent to about a thousand cans of canned air. So at five bucks a piece, $5,000 for canned <laughs> air, this cost about $100. Okay. So now, you can, your viewers can figure that out pretty quickly. All right, now you've got two models of it, right? Yeah, the, yep. the only distinguishing uh, characteristic between the two is the color of the trigger, right? Correct. So that is correct. I've got the gray one. What does that mean? That means you have the industrial model. Yeah, there, baby. <laughs> there is a home version when we, and by the way, here's, let me just show you. It comes in this box. I don't know if you got to see it. And it's in this box. It comes like packaged like this. This this unit here is a standard unit. It has the black trigger. Okay. Right. It's it's, it's, it's got all all the power, but it only it only blows up to a, just a little over 165 miles an hour, which is a lot of a lot of wind, a lot of force coming out. It's less money. Less money, and we suggest for around the home, you can clean window blinds, computer keyboards, all the things you want to clean. The industrial one, the one that you have, yeah. for the tech people. Okay. This is for, where, where we're seeing it used a lot, people cleaning slot machines, cleaning slot machines, cleaning um, ATM machines, cleaning the red box rental machines. Cleaning parking meters, cleaning uh, fire alarm systems. Interesting. There, there's companies that are using it to, to, to the smoke detectors. So this is a more of a heavy duty use. Okay, John, what is the price difference between the two? Um, the 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 standard unit is seventy nine ninety five. The industrial unit, depending on where you go, um, you can buy it for. 109 or sometimes $99. So 20 or 30 bucks more. I I'm uh I don't care I don't care how good the smaller one is for 20 or 30 bucks more. I'm a fan of more power. It, that's right. You don't want the 6 cylinder, you want the 8 cylinder. Always. Always. <laughs> that's right. All right. I, well, that's good. Now, okay. So two last questions for you. Sure. First yeah. of all, if people want to learn more information on it, where can they go to do that? Well, they can go to canlessair.com, and it tells them all about it. It compares. They can read the comparison between this and canned air. They can read uh, all about what these units will do and how they'll do it. Fair enough. And final question, if they want to actually buy one, where can they do that? At the same place. If They, they, they can't miss it. They go to canlessair.com, 
and they can buy it right there. And they could choose the six cylinder or the eight cylinder. <laughs> just kidding. But but they're right there. Now, okay. John, I want to remind you about a giveaway. Oh, that's were right. You, I'm, I'm glad you, you, know, you did. Honestly, were you going to remember? I probably wasn't going to until after we had hit cut, and then I would have been like, oh, I forgot. But I'm glad you reminded me. So, yeah, you guys, John has actually generously donated five of these bad boys. Are we going to give them the, the six-cylinder or the eight-cylinder? Eight cylinder. Wow. Okay. Five of the industrial ones that we're going to do a contest on. Okay. So uh, that'll be fun. Um, they, stay they tuned for that. They will like it. All they right. Will. Well, John, thank you very much for your time. And you guys uh, keep an eye out. We're going to run the contest. I think we'll do it over on Google+. Plus. How's that sound to you, Dave Curley? Yeah. All right. Google Plus it is. So we'll get that started uh, as soon as we get the video posted. And uh, that's it. All right. So stay tuned for more episodes of Geek Beat TV. We'll be back with the regular show here in a couple of days. Take Thanks. care, guys.